Okay, you're going to go to back to iMovie. If you haven't uploaded to YouTube, you need to publish to YouTube first. You need to go back and watch the other video. This is to get your QR code. So you go to iMovie, you find your project, you upload, you want to visit YouTube. When you visit YouTube, then you want to go to see my name. You may need to find the video manager and that will list all the videos that are published. Find your video, select your video, and then when your video is selected, then you want to go to share. And when you're in share, you want to find the URL and copy, tap and hold, select all. If it's not highlighted, copy. Then you're going to go back to Safari and you're going to go to the QR code maker and get rid of the HTTP backslash and paste in your URL that you got of your movie. Once it's pasted in there, then you're going to select which QR code maker you want to use. There's four that work. The one top row middle doesn't work real well and the bottom right with the colors does not work well. So any of the other four will work and then you're going to generate. And when it's generated, you will tap and hold. When you tap and hold, you'll save your image to the photo library. So save your image. Then you'll go to your photo library. When you're in your photo library, you're going to want to put your QR code into your photo album because they're going to all look the same. So when you get to the photo library, camera roll, yours should be the last one in the row. Tap, select, check mark, add to your name. Then the last step, you want to select your picture of your QR code and you're going to email or mail and you'll email it to Jackie Rosichka and it should populate my mpsne.org address and subject should be your period number your last name and the project title, animation or video, something to that effect. And then on the email, in the, in the body of the email, I want your first name, your last name, your period number. So when I print these out and cut them apart, you'll have that QR code with your information. Then send and then you can close out of the app. And then you should be able to get me to print it and have it to put in the hallway. Good luck.